them game cards. How about those final four bound game cocks? The USC basketball team is back in Columbia this morning after making history for the school and the entire state. USC is the first team from South Carolina to ever make it to the final four after rallying to beat Florida to win the East Regional. Cinderius Thornwell was the star again for the Gamecocks, scoring 26 points as USC rallied from seven points down at halftime to win over Florida by the same number, 77 to 70. The senior star leading his team to Phoenix for a shot at college basketball's national championship. It's a dream come true, you know. Every college kid's uh, dream and goal is to make it to the Final Four. And, you know, for us to be here is a dream come true. South Carolina will take on West Regional Champ Gonzaga in Saturday's opening game around 6 p.m. You'll see it here on 7 News and CBS. North Carolina faces Oregon in the other Final Four matchup. Fans across South Carolina were celebrating USC's win. They still are. Fans and students rallied together here at the Colonial Life Arena in Columbia last night to welcome back the Gamecocks. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to hear from those USC students and what the school's president is saying about the women's win. As the Gamecocks made history, their fans were watching by the thousands. That's right. Many people headed to a local watch party to cheer on the team. The Palmetto Ale House was packed with Gamecock fans. And they never stop cheering. It's a dream come true, you know. Every college kid's uh, dream and goal is to make it to the Final Four. And, you know, for that second half team, Frank Martin has showed that he can pull these kids together at halftime. In an interview last week, he said it's not about going in at halftime and throwing chairs. It's about going in and saying to the kids, do you believe you can do this? And they believe they can do it. The Gamecocks play Saturday again against Gonzaga, who is also in its first Final Four ever.